trying to clean up the yard here a little bit, uh, getting rid of some refrigerators. I uh, tore apart a cabinet the other day and uh, disposed of it this morning. Um, got another fridge last night that was free. Uh, somebody punctured the evaporator coil. Uh, so I'm actually going give to give it a go and try to brace that coil and uh, see if I can get the thing working. At the very least, the compressor is a good size for my... Uh, my unit up here if I need a need a spare compressor R134 system but uh, this thing I've had for a while a good friend of mine gave this to me it's kind of a weird little um, vapor compression RV refrigerator um, rather small a small ice tray up there um, you can see that the, it's been outside for a while it's uh, not in good shape the insulation's no good uh, but the last time I ran it it ran just fine um, it's a curious little uh, compressor. It's a swing compressor made in Japan. Uh, I think it's about 40 watts. Um, it's, uh, I think it's like 25 volt AC. Um, see, it has a transformer down here, to uh, and a, um, um, it has an inverter. It's it's both 120 volt AC and it'll step down to 25 volt uh, AC, or you can supply it to 12 volt DC. And uh, it has an inverter set up pretty, pretty basic. This thing's pretty old. Um, but I just wanted the components out of it because the box is junk and I needed to make some room. And uh, I noticed when I first got this thing that it looked like you could tear it apart um, rather easily. So that's exactly what I did. Um, really, it probably took me about 10 minutes and it's ready to come out right now. Um, there was a cover on the back here behind the evaporator and a piece of uh, foam. Uh, there were a couple of uh, different kind of grommet looking things there that go around the uh, the suction line and the capillary tube where it comes in. Uh, there were two big nuts on the back side that, that hold most of the assembly in. A couple of screws on the uh, power assembly down here. A couple of various screws. Uh, this I really liked, which was just that uh, the back sheet metal panel just had like one, one, yeah, one screw in the top of it and it slid right out and you can see that groove there which surrounds the, uh, the refrigerant lines as they go in and you can see there's enough room there to pull that evaporator coil out and the entire assembly just pops out and it can be replaced. Um, this presumably was used in an RV of some sort uh, but yeah, you know, all in all I'm pretty impressed. I mean it's still kind of junky but hey it's modular. Um, you can fix it. You can, you can pull it out and service it and or, and or replace it. So uh, I just thought I would share this thing pretty uh, pretty cool. I am going to pull it out, clean it up a little bit, and run it again to see uh, if it still works. And uh, this will free up a little bit of space, get rid of this, this junky cabinet. But uh, I thought that was pretty neat. It's a pretty nifty idea. So I'm not sure the manufacturer of the entire unit. Um, it may or may not be Japanese. It could be Australian. Um, uh, there are a lot of Australian manufacturers that were using these swing compressors for some years. I don't know if they're available anymore. Uh, but it's a just like an uh, oscillating linear motor, I believe. So, uh, thanks for watching.